Well, I painted in undergraduate and I um, started to paint more steady in the hiatuses of the, the L Word, the show I used to be on. Um, my ex-husband was an architect and he was getting his master's in architecture while I was doing the show and I guess I was immersed in architecture and art and it was like revisiting something that I was doing in college that I never got to finish because I also majored in theater and then very quickly got into a movie which lots of people saw and then kept working in, in that medium. And so there was time in between shooting the show to, to paint and then I just, it was as if I really kind of wanted to go back to school in some sort of way, go back and get a master's in, in art or something, but since I have two small children, it wasn't time for that. And so I just kept painting at first for uh, for friends and um, not really just expressing myself that way, but not thinking that I was going to keep going. And the more I painted, the more I realized that I couldn't stop. And then the first few paintings were for charity. And then I knew I had to keep going. I took my daughters to New York. Um, my husband at the time got a job in Beijing in an architecture firm, and I took six months off, and I chose to paint only. I had a beautiful loft in Tribeca uh, that was owned by a great painter, Gary Stefan, and I just sequestered myself there and painted pretty steadily, and then I painted the Tribeca series, and some of those paintings are here, just a few. And after that, I just knew. So I just kept, I've only painted for the last 18 months. And so this is sort of what's come of it. And um, I think I've learned a lot about like how to lock in my style and what I want to say and how to express myself and where I see myself headed. So I, I'm still learning that I feel, I feel pretty confident that this is what I'm going to be doing. I think, uh, well first, I think coming from a place where I was pushing myself to sell myself to show an emotion, I feel more in control when I'm painting because it's, it's the end product is the painting. And what I want to say, I feel like it's not something I could express in words or emotion. It's something I want to visually put on a canvas. and I. I, it's a different feeling when I'm finished with a painting than it is when I used to act. And uh, I think, although they start from an emotion and they're abstract, I think now they're becoming uh, just more technically advanced and more, um, I don't know how to explain it, um, specific. My style is specific to what I want to express. To me, um, that was one of the first pieces in the Tribeca series, and I just think there was something very simple about it and what it expressed. There was something fiery going on and, and heartfelt inside, and then I used a lot of linseed oil and some different techniques I hadn't used before, and it was sort of a discovery of, of just different solvents and how they could mix together and how I could produce those colors and how they blend out and go back in and the title pretty much it kind of is this feeling of no matter what you do I still love you or I can't help myself and there's something in that painting when I look at it it just looked at me that, like that it looked it felt to me that that's what it was about I mean to be honest that's the only one I can I can't talk about all of them in that way because I, I feel like the painting dictates where it's going to go. Like it tells, it, it, while I'm in the process, it tells me. And so sometimes the titles come much later. Um, it's not like it starts from a primed canvas and I know exactly what I'm doing. It sort of starts from uh, something more organic, something more visceral, a feeling. And then it's about composition at that point and where I feel like it needs to go. And I try not to listen to this other part of my voice that might influence the painting. I don't want the painting to be influenced by other people or by me, and I don't want it to be influenced by the pressure to make it pretty. I just want it to stay truthful, because that, to me, is the only way it works. So. It 
It started with um, a friend that's Parisian that had seen the paintings and seen um, at that time some posters and basically I just got an email saying I think we have a show for you if you can put your portfolio together and fly out to Paris and so that's what I did and I took a meeting here and they offered the show <laughs> so I felt I felt like this was a right start. I think it's really tricky to have some success in another area of like another medium basically and to move into something else and, and it can be a, it's just a tricky balance to figure out where to start and how to start right and what's the most pure and the simplest way to do that and this felt like the right place. And I also just feel like Europe in general has such a respect for art and and, and celebrates it in such a different way and to me culturally Paris was the place to be. Yes, we're working on catalog right now. I mean to be completely honest I feel like I have more to put in it so maybe within the year. So it looks like we're gonna have some exhibitions in Italy so once we go through that I think probably in the fall there'll be there'll be a catalog but I think we'll get closer towards a book. I don't want to jump in front of where I am. I want to make the mistakes I'm supposed to make and learn what I'm supposed to learn and figure out exactly what it is I how I want to express myself. So, and, and, and this is the start. So, I think I think a book would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. I still have trouble. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Like it was even hard today to wake, walk away from paintings because I just want to tweak it or change it or change the varnish on it. I, I it's never finished to me. Um, I was really lucky to be contacted by Isabel von Rollingham and uh, she's um, basically works in the wine industry and um, she said really really like your art and it feels like it should be on a wine bottle at least some of the painting should and uh, we just hit it off and we had similar interests and painting that she was interested in, a client had already had already bought and the painting was in New York, but we took the images and we tested it and and it tested really well and we're thinking about using another painting for something else. And it uh, wasn't my goal to say, oh, I'm going to paint something that ends up on, on a book. Well, that's my brother, so the book is different. <laughs> um, but this just felt like the right fit and I really like the wine and I like what she's doing and I like what she's about. and. Um, I was contacted by even other winemakers at like high-end levels and they tested a couple of other paintings with actually without my knowledge and um, I found out later and this is the better fit. This is what works. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. I mean, right now I'm focusing on exhibitions and I'm not focusing so much on the commercial part of it. I'm just trying to get as many exhibitions as possible get more clear about my statement of purpose and what I want to say. And I think my style is starting to evolve and change right now because I'm even seeing some older paintings with newer paintings in this space and I can already see there's a drastic difference from where I started to where I want to go. Like if you look at Enlightened, it's completely different than Red Rain as far as technical aspects. And I think we'll see. I'm focusing on um, an exhibition that will be in mid-July in Venezia that I don't want to announce yet because we're still, um, we've looked at several spaces but I think I know where it's going to be. So um, I'll find out soon enough but I think that will be big enough. <laughs> uh, this space is a lot larger than this so right now I'm working on murals that are 11 by 14 so this is one of the largest sizes I've ever worked on so it seems like I already started large scale and I'm getting larger and um, but there'll be larger pieces but less pieces and then um, another area of the space that we're using will have some smaller pieces and I couldn't tell you exactly what they'll be like because I haven't started them. <laughs> um, and now I just have a lot of gratitude for how warm and welcoming the people I've had to watch this transition and um, it, 
It's, it's been really wonderful to have people be so supportive and also I've had a lot of people around me that have a lot more knowledge about art and the art world so have been given a lot of advice and it seems like it's all come from this amazing fan base. So, I'm very grateful. Ha, ha, ha.